Aliens Genocide is one of the more memorable Dark Horse comic books from the Aliens Extended Universe, and it's easy to see why. Bright Red Aliens. I picked up these comics back when they were first released and at that point I had only seen your standard black or brownish colored alien. With all the Xenos encountered so far, one thing is for sure. They can adapt to almost any host, any environment, or any situation. Color variants would seem logical to me. So today, let's take a look at the origins of the red Xenomorph aliens. First off, it's important to point out that these aliens most likely aren't as red as they look in the comics. What's that you say? Then why color them that way in the comic? Well, if you look to the bug hunt section at the end of the comics, which is basically a questions to the editor section, Barbara Kessel answers a question about the alien's red color, and this is her response. In reality, the aliens are probably close to the same color. They just smell different or something. But this is comics, and we need to be able to clue in the readers. Tell you what, if your biology studies ever take you to the alien homeworld, write us and let us know what color they appear to be. The Red Queen or Red Queen Mother is created following the events of Aliens Earth War. The Queen Mother alien from Xenomorph Prime was taken and killed on Earth in order to take out most of the invading aliens there. In her absence on the homeworld, some royal guards have run off to make a new hive, after they deem the old one unclean after the humans took their last queen. They build a small hive and take an egg most likely containing a queen chestburster. We see no host, nor do we see the chestburster from the egg, so we don't know the exact process of the Red Queen's origin. It is noted in the comic though that this method of birthing the Red Queen is different from the traditional ways. It looks like the standard queen or queen mother is made from what appears to be queen morphine, where a royal elite guard alien is changed into a queen using the royal jelly contained in the ring of sex. She does appear almost reptilian in an early shot after her birth in the comics, yet when asked about this in the bug hunt section, if she's a mutated queen or what the heck's up with that picture, the editor simply responds yep, which I'm betting is sarcastic because the editor does go on to mention later that there are some color and art errors in these issues. The aliens as illustrated in the comic all have the smooth carapace domed head of the big chap alien from the first film versus the exposed head of the aliens from the second movie. Aside from a color or smell difference, these aliens seem to be just like their darker cousins. The red aliens are eventually killed off when the humans nuke their hive in order to create confusion on the planet so that they can infiltrate the other alien hive. Now these red aliens did fight with the other darker aliens in the comic story and it has been noted that queens will kill other competing queens, but in some cases they will allow others to exist if they don't encroach on their territory. I have to wonder if there weren't competing queens and the red aliens were just a new strain hatched from the same normal looking queen, a mutation of color perhaps, would she still have them killed? Unfortunately we have no cases of such alien color changing or evolution in any Wayland yutani files, so we just don't know. However, in the Alien Covenant novel, a proto-xenomorph does fight with a neomorph and kill it, so we do have another instance of different species of aliens fighting. So what do you guys think of these red aliens? I personally love them. If you could make up different attributes that the red aliens would have over other aliens, what would they be? Maybe a different colored acid blood? Maybe different heat tolerances? In nature here on Earth, bright colored animals tend to have poison in many instances, almost as a warning. So could these guys be poisonous? Or maybe they just shoot acid like other aliens in the extended universe? I'd love to hear what you guys could come up with as attributes for the red aliens, or any other colors if you feel so inclined. The channel growth of late has been amazing guys, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you for all of your support. The likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions go a long way to making this channel succeed. Thanks again, take care, and I hope to see you next time.